So it must be like Godzilla week or something because we just got an amazing trailer with Godzilla minus one. So looking forward to that movie. And then Apple TV, they just dropped the trailer for the Godzilla spinoff, uh, like the Godzilla vs. Kong kind of stuff. Uh, their spinoff Monarch, which we got a couple pictures of a couple weeks ago. Now we got the trailer. So let's see what they got. Is it as good as Godzilla minus one? I kind of doubt it, but I'm willing to see where this goes. There he is. Is that Goodman? Go back in time and fix all the mistakes I made. But maybe I can leave something for the future. Hmm. I love like the found footage stuff. Hey, there he is. I didn't know he was going to be a part of this. Is on fire. I decided to do something about it. Hopes, dreams, ambitions. The mission was to protect their world and ours. It's what we wanted Monarch to be. Instead of chasing monsters. If you come with me, you'll know everything I promise. Cool. Okay. All right. And we get a little announcement about when it's going to be streaming. So that's, that's pretty cool. I would say, uh, yeah, I like it. I don't think that was like the craziest trailer. I don't think that's going to win anybody over of being like, Oh, this is going to be awesome. If you already love Godzilla, then you'll probably, you know, be very interested in this, but I don't see that being able to win any people over to check it out. Other than the fact that it's on a streaming platform like Apple TV plus. Uh, so I liked a lot of what I saw though, because I actually do like Godzilla. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm the Island that is skull Island, I'm assuming. And we're going to be dealing with, you know, basically Monarch being scientists and trying to figure out you know, what's really going on with these monsters? Where do they come from? Uh, doing a lot of the research. I like the idea of them almost being like astronauts. Like you saw that shot of uh, young Russell. <laughs> That's how I'll, I'll, I'll describe him. Uh, getting into what looked like, I don't know, some kind of like shelter of some kind. Kind of even looked like, uh, you know, what you would expect an astronaut to be climbing out of once they come back onto Earth. Um, so I don't know. Like, th there's some cool stuff in there. I really wasn't expecting to hear Goodman's voice at all. I didn't think he was a part of this project. Maybe that's just like, hey, he's he's going to be in it. And then he's like barely in it. That's kind of what I'm guessing. But if he's in it for more than just that, then I think that would be a huge advantage to the show because... You know, John Goodman is awesome. He's fantastic. Now you have Kurt Russell and you have uh, what w Wyatt Russell. Uh, they're 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 great. You know, obviously Kurt Russell is a legend. So I like being able to see him as a young man and older. And then what is going on with this woman uh, who is looking at like the evacuation route for Godzilla? Oh man that that would be quite the world to live in, right? Like if you actually had to have uh, like painted sign of what to do when Godzilla comes out of the water. You know, here's the path to follow. Uh, a lot of construction. Construction business must be booming in that universe. But I, I thought it was okay. Uh, not not anything crazy cool. Not nearly as good as the Godzilla minus one trailer. But, you know, it could be a lot of fun. And since it's already on a streaming platform that I already pay for, fantastic i'll be watching it <laughs> so let me know what you think about this down in the comments section whether you saw something in here that just got you really hyped let me know your favorite part of this thing and i will see you in the next one